Stand by for the latest episode of the Biz News Flash Briefing. The latest news from the world of business and investments. I'm Melanie Nathan with your Biz Briefing. The Public Investment Corporation, Africa's biggest fund manager, is willing to help South African power utility ESCOM resolve its debt crisis, says Finance Minister Tito Mboweni. The utility's finances have deteriorated despite the government having given it 188 billion rand in bailouts over the past decade. South Africa has paid 500 million rand to the COVAX program, which supplies low- and middle-income countries with proven COVID-19 vaccines to ensure equitable access across the world. The minister said he will find a further 4.5 billion rand from the budget to make sure that South Africa has an adequate supply and is at the front of the queue when vaccines become available. The Zondo Commission has heard how EOH Group CEO Stephen Van Koller prioritized clean governance at the IT services company. Van Koller shared details about the state in which he found EOH Holdings when he was appointed Group CEO in 2018. Tender of road, irregular procurement processes and wasteful expenditure were the order of the day. However, Van Koller wrote in the help of a forensic company and government agencies to implement a turnaround which saw EOH returning funds to government departments which had been paid fraudulently. South African business confidence has jumped to the highest level in more than two years in the fourth quarter as further easing of lockdown restrictions spurred a resurgence in activity, but economic risk could weigh on sentiment in the new year. A quarterly gauge measuring the business mood rose to 40 from 24 in the previous three months, according to Rand Merchant Bank. The improvement adds to data that suggest Africa's most industrialized economy is past the worst point of the virus-driven downturn. You've been listening to the Biz News Flash Briefing, bringing you the latest news from the world of business and investments. Subscribe to Biz News Radio on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, or by visiting biznews.com.